my channel if you're new here my name is Madison and if not welcome back it is Wednesday yes Wednesday oh, I'm focused uh, it is Wednesday April 6th Six. and um, it's like 8 30 and we are on our way to the contemporary to have breakfast at Steakhouse 71 um, I picked this breakfast reservation one because it was available and two because I heard people say that the breakfast there is better than the dinner so um, I have nothing to compare it to I haven't tried the dinner I have and it was delicious and the chocolate cake yeah dessert. the seven layer oh my gosh I've never had it but I've heard great things oh about it oh my goodness it is delicious okay now you know so we're gonna see the breakfast mom will at least be able to compare the breakfast to the dinner um and then uh, we're just gonna hang out for the day and head to Disney Springs tonight. So stay tuned for all that, gonna take you with us. Um, we should be there in about half an hour. I'm so excited, I need a coffee. Let's go get breakfast. Well, well, well. Hello. Look who we have here. Hell. <laughs> okay, so we're at Steakhouse 71. It's still a QR code, so you can just pull up everything on your phone. But our waitress just came by and told us that the special today is blueberry lemon ricotta pancakes, I think. And these are some of the prices. Okay, I got lemon buttermilk pancakes with bacon. What'd you get, Amy Grace? Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benny. That looks really good with roast potatoes. And then we've got steak and eggs over here. Ken's is already fisty. <laughs> and mom got blueberry? Blueberry and the lemon. Yes, it looks so good. All right, let's dig in. <laughs> How was the meal? Out of ten, everyone. It was delicious. Good? Yeah. Your dippy eggs? My dippy eggs were great. My steak was great. The marinade sauce was great. Potatoes, great. Nice. Yeah. Steak was delicious. So tasty, so tender. Yeah, eggs. even though you got it medium. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't eggs, want to be in it. <laughs> eggs Benedict were very good. Oh, good. They wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> and Skippy was an amazing server. She was so attentive to every little detail. Yeah, she was I great. I recommend great. Skippy as a server. We like it. The environment's a little weird, but that's fine. Okay, so we came up to the merch shop after breakfast, but they've got all the Easter eggs out that were made by different cast members. And they're so clever. I like the small world one and the Mary Blair. And we've got the big one. And it's just on the fifth floor in the main like merch area when you come up the escalators in front of Chef Mickey's. So cute. Nothing good for my hair, yikes. Okay. Breakfast was good, yeah? Head north toward Contemporary Drive. Very good, she's focused on the directions. 
breakfast was good. We um, ate breakfast with my aunt and my cousin, and then Ken's left to go. She had to go to costuming, and she has work later today. And then um, the four of us just walked around the gift shops. What is it? Bayview Gifts and Fantasia Market, I think. And then we went outside, and we watched the monorails for a while and talked like Disney trivia because my aunt and my cousin are not... Disney people in the same way that we are Disney Neither people. Neither am I. Well, that's not true. Um, and then we got free water from the uh, Contempo Cafe, and now we are back in the car. We are going back to mom's house. We've got to like just do some real life stuff and uh, walk the dog, and then Come back. I am going to go back to Disney Springs tonight. Mom has to work. But I'm gonna go back to Disney Springs with my cousin, my aunt, and my uncle, and we're gonna get dinner. So I haven't actually booked that dining reservation yet. I don't know what we're gonna do, but there were some showing up as available on the app, so I think I'm gonna try and find like Boathouse maybe, if that's available. How about Maria and Enzo's? Maybe that. Um, so we'll see what we find, and uh, you guys will see in a second. Okay, so I'm inside Hangar Bar. And I'm by myself, so I look like a weirdo, but whatever, we're doing this. Um, Mom had to go to work, so she dropped me off at Disney Springs at 4.30, and I came to Hangar Bar because it is like 94 degrees, feels like 100, like 90% humidity. I had to get out of the heat. Um, I had a headache for the afternoon. We just like watched, like walked the dog and hung out at her house, but I had a headache, so I'm like avoiding the heat at all costs. So I've come to Hangar Bar, I'm gonna order the queso because I had it at Christmas and I loved it. Um, and I also went to Homecoming and Boathouse because we don't have any reservations for tonight, but I'm wanting a reservation or like a table for four people sometime between like 7 and 9 p.m. to have dinner. So I went up to both hostess stands and they both said that like right now basically they can see this straight away. And I said, if I wanted to eat between 7 and 9, what time should I come back to put my name in? So the girl at Homecoming said that I should come back at 6, put my name in then, and that I would get to eat sometime between 7 and 9. And then Boathouse said that they don't do that. It's literally just if there's a table available at the time. So that one is a little bit riskier. However, Disney Springs is dead right now. There's like no wait for Gideon's. It's 10 minutes. I didn't have to wait for Hangar Bar. It's seat yourself. And both of the restaurants, when I went up to them, said that they can seat me now. So if you are like dying for a a specific reservation that's hard to come by like homecoming or boathouse go to disney springs in the afternoon because it's so much quieter than in, in the evening i know it's a little bit hotter and you have to contend with that but go in the evening uh or sorry go in the afternoon and eat then have lunch or something like that in the middle of the day because it's so much easier okay this is the queso fundido i got it last time i was here with my dad it's so good and then i didn't get any alcohol i just got a coke and a water because it's so hot and i need to hydrate and i need some sugar and i need to wake up all right so it is 6 10. i have like i don't want to say done everything because i haven't done that much but i walked through world of disney and um trendy and like the old side I'm gonna go back to homecoming now because I went at 5.30 to see what the wait was and they said 25 minutes and I don't wanna eat that early. So I'm gonna go back now and hope that it's like an hour at this point. My family's on their way. Um, and then we're also gonna try Boathouse but that's just like a show up and hope kind of thing. So I'm um, gonna try homecoming first. The heat is like starting to break but it's still by no means like cool out. I've just like accepted being sticky at this point. Okay, there it is, it loaded. We put in our names. Where are we? Woohoo, it's your first time. This is Emma. <laughs> and the menu is, oh. Yeah, the menu's on the phone here, and it's really tiny, but if you just look it up on the My Disney Experience app, it'll come up. I didn't record, and she went right for it. <laughs> How is it? Is this is the chicken and dumpling soup? It's good, it's hearty. It's a um, huge portion, but it's tasty. Yeah, this is her starter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, man. This is so exciting. So good. And we got mac and cheese, too. What'd you guys get? The fried chicken and... Fried chicken. All right, chicken let's do it. Smashed potatoes. All right, Emma, what was your pit and peak of the day? Ooh, pit and peak of the day. Um, my peak was seeing the contemporary. Oh, I haven't been there in so long. It's a good one. It's kind of fun to see that. 
Um, my pet working. <laughs> That'll do it. Yep. Um, my peak was probably. Yeah, breakfast was really good. My pancakes were really good. And my pit was the heat. And I didn't sleep all last night, so I just want to check it out. Again, breakfast. It's okay, you don't want to share your pit with me. <laughs> all right, we bought a mystery pin pack in the hopes that it's Orange Bird. Oh, here we go. Emma picked it. Me unlucky. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, let's see what's in there. It's hard to get it. Uh, I think there's even a package in there that we have to open as well. Oh, there's two. Okay. All right. That's lucky. Here we go. Oh boy, what are we getting? Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, that's a good one. It's not who we wanted, but it'll okay. do. He's good, he's good. All right, and he's paired up with... Come on! Darn. Ah! Oh, that's, um... What, he's from Figment, I think. He's from Figment? <laughs> no, what's he from? Oh my god. Now I wish I didn't vlog this. <laughs> okay, well, we tried. Okay, it's um, 9.46, mom's about to finish work and pick me up uh, at 10 o'clock and I'm exhausted. I think between like the bachelorette and then coming down here and going to Magic Kingdom yesterday, like I'm just completely burnt out, but I'm like falling asleep sitting on this bench. Um, my family just left. We just like walked around and shopped after um, we had dinner. We were looking for Orange Bird merch and then, um, we got gelato and then they had to head back to the hotel. So um, it's just me sitting on the bench. So um, I think this is gonna be it for the night. Nothing else interesting is gonna happen. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it up here, but uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have not yet already, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Next week um, we will be having tomorrow's vlog, which will be our Epcot day. So mom and I are gonna go to Epcot. Ken's is working, so we're gonna see her at work. We're gonna try lots of flower and garden food um, and yeah, see what we get up to there. So stay tuned for that. And until next week, I will see you real soon. Good night.